Hey guys, I just want to take a sec and show you guys the two new cage setups that I did today. Um, the one on the left is for my skinks. I'm sorry about that light. I don't know what is up with that. It's so bright and annoying. I was just going to turn it off for the video, but then you couldn't see in the cage in a minute, so let's deal with it. But <clears throat> basically on the left is the skinks, and on the right is my turtles. So they were both previously in the 10-gallon. The skinks had only been in the 10-gallon for maybe a month or so, maybe two months. Um, they switched out. They used to be in that, which is now my snake's cage. There's a video on that. But you kind of see how those plants are growing. And he's really growing, too. Um, he's out in there somewhere. But basically, let's start with the skinks one. Um, and overall, I'm just getting more into tubs instead of aquariums. They're lightweight. They're easier to move. Except that one because it's full of water. But they they don't break. You get the idea. And they're, there's just a lot of room in them and they're cheap. I, I'm getting way more into tubs. The only thing I really have in aquariums anymore is snake and my fire belly toads. And their water's low right now. I'm waiting on to get a couple gallons from the store here in a little bit, but <clears throat> yeah. So I think the aquarium does them good. It just works for them, and it works for him. But other than that, though, everything is all like tub style, sweater box or tubs. You know. So anyway, back to the skinks one. It's just a. Uh, Rubber made from Walmart, it's 15 bucks. It's really tall, as you can see, and I did that because um, I'm leaving this part without a lid, or with, you know, the lid, I cut a hole in the lid, basically. And that, I was gonna put a 10 gallon screen cover there and put the light on top, but then I have this lamp and it works perfect. Just like one of those standing ones. And it just hangs right over it and illuminates it perfectly, so. I basically just did the mix I used to do, the Eco Earth, a little bit of forest floor. That was all out of moss, so I didn't put any down. You can see one of their tails right there. Just looking at the hide. I think that's her. And one of them had their head sticking through a little hole here a minute ago, but now they went under. Um, but got their food and water back there. It's still a little messy on the sides. I didn't brush it down from when I set up the cage, but um, I'm gonna eat, have two food bowls now. I think one for uh, worms and insects or whatever, and the other one for I might try feeding them a little fruit. I've heard people talk about that melon and stuff. Anyway, <coughs> threw a couple rocks there, kind of for the barrier, and I can tell they've been out and about because. That rock was clean, now it's all walked over. They walked through there, I can tell. And uh, they pushed out the food bowl. So they've already made their rounds. For the most part, they're still burrowing like they always do. But, yeah. Just kind of converted their 10 gallon into this. They got way more space and I don't think I'm gonna need that 10 gallon screen cover. It should be fine just like that. It's not getting too hot and I, all I have is dogs, and it's on a, it's on a table as you can see. So all I got is dogs. I don't think that guy's gonna get up there. And my bigger dog is pretty old, and she's got arthritis, so I'm not worried about her being curious about that. As long as it's on a table, it's fine. And then, yeah. All right. So let's move on to the turtle tank turtle tub. Once again, it's just a larger version of the 10 gallon they were in. They're getting bigger, so I got their filter and heater just sitting there in the corner. I put a few rocks around it. Just kind of keep them out. It won't keep them out, but as you can see, one of them's right there. He just tucked back, but yeah, he's right there. And then the other guy is right there. But yeah, it's pretty pretty basic. The heater in there, little basking area, 
that's where I used the, the screen cover to rest that one on. That one I got clamped right over it. So if it does fall, hopefully it falls on the screen cover and not in the water. That would be horrible. But I think it's secure. So I'm pretty 99% well, sure it's secure. So. He's down there somewhere. He's way bigger. <clears throat> so yeah, that's that. I uh, <clears throat> used some new water and used the Reptisafe to dechlorinate it. And then I used about half their old water from a 10 gallon. That way I keep the nitrifying bacteria alive and well. So. Alright, that's it. Uh, thanks for checking it out.